Hey there, this is uh, Mr. Odell um, in my physics room and uh, just got done making a two beaker Leiden jar. And I'll show you how to make it. It's really easy, uh, especially for teachers if you have a whole bunch of beakers that usually go unused most of the year, if you're in physics at least. Uh, some foil, a couple of wires, and something to charge it up with. So take a look. Uh, this is a two beaker Leiden jar. And it's a 250 milliliter beaker placed within a 400 milliliter beaker. And what you do is you get your aluminum foil, lay out some of it, and wrap it real tight around that glass jar on the outside of it. Okay? You're going to tape a wire to it. And what I did with the wires was I spread out the uh, copper strands. Uh, instead of one big chunk of uh, wire on it. So tape it on there really good. It has to be real smooth and tight. That's critical. And no, as, as few air gaps as possible. Do the same thing to the smaller beaker. Again, you do it on the outside and you tape another wire somewhere on it. You nest it inside. Usually they fit pretty good. They don't have to fit perfectly, but they have to get close enough. Uh, I use PVC pipe and some sort of fur that I found lying around in our static, our electrostatic area. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to charge it up. Uh, I try to get the red wire out of the way. I don't want to charge this one. I want to charge this wire up. What I want to do is I want to create an imbalance in the inner beaker. And then once that imbalance is, uh, sorry, once I connect these two wires, that imbalance is going to transfer over and I get a spark out of that. So let's take a look and I'll show you how I can charge this thing up. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do it with uh, one hand, but hold on. So I'm actually going to touch that black wire there with the PVC. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm actually touching it. And I'm charging that inner piece of foil up. And what it's going to do is it's going to want to snap back and go back to equilibrium, and that's where we get the spark. So you don't have to charge it that long. So I'm going to go turn the lights off. I'm going to grab the red wire, and pull it over near the black one, and we should get a spark. And that was it. It's not much, but it might just be enough for a good demo. Hope you enjoyed it. Two beaker Leiden jar. Really easy to make. You can get the kids to do it. It might take 10 minutes or so, possibly. So, thanks for watching.